Hello, welcome to the next video installing VMA vCenter server. In this video, we are going to take a look at the minimum requirement for vCenter server installation and step by step guide to install a vCenter server appliance. Here, we are going to install a vCenter server with an embedded PSC where we will have a single appliance. In that appliance itself, we will have a vCenter server and PSC. There are three steps to install vCenter server appliance. First, you need to prepare a ESXi host where you are going to install the vCenter server appliance. Once your host is ready, you will have to install embedded PSC and then vCenter server. Minimum requirement to install a vCenter server on appliance. So there are multiple deployment models if you are going to install a vCenter server. That can be a tiny environment, small, medium, large or x-large. And CPU memory is required depending on the deployment type. If you are using tiny environment, then you require 2 CPU and 10 GB memory. For the small environment, you require 4 CPU and 16 GB memory. For medium environment, you require 8 CPU and 24 GB memory. For the large environment, you require 16 CPU and 32 GB memory. For X large, you require 24 CPU and 48 GB memory. Now we are moving to the lab where we will show how we can install a vCenter server appliance. To install vCenter server, first we need to download vCenter ISO image from VMware website. Click on the link which is showing in the address bar. Go to VMA vCenter server appliance and click on download now. Once download is complete, log into any Windows server environment and mount the ISO image. Here we have mounted the ISO image. Go to VCSA UI installer folder, Win32. Click on installer. Since it is a new installation, click on install option. There are two stages. In stage 1, we will deploy the appliance and in stage 2, we will configure the appliance. Click next. Select I accept and click next. Select embedded platform service controller and click next. Provide the ESXi host name where you want to deploy this appliance and make sure that you have done DNS entry for all the configurations. Provide root credentials. Click next. Click yes. Provide vCenter server name and make sure that DNS entry is done. Set root password. Click next. Now select the deployment size. For the lab environment, I am going to use Tiny. Click next. Select the data store where you want to deploy this appliance. Make sure that it has minimum of 300 GB of space for the Tiny deployment size. Click next. Provide the IP address.
click next now review the settings and click on finish now deployment of vCenter server appliance is in progress once the deployment will get complete we will move to the configuration part now stage 1 has been completed click on continue to move to the stage 2 to configure the VCSA appliance before that I want to show you that when you deploy the appliance where it has created the virtual machine here you can see that a virtual machine has been created with the name of VCSA01 so this will be the appliance which can be used for the vCenter server now moving back click on continue to move to the stage 2 click on next click on next provide the SSO domain name here you can mention pzlab.local or vspay.local or anything as per your requirement provide the password click on next click next now stage 2 has been completed click on finish now configuration has been started and setup is in progress now stage 2 has also been completed and vCenter server is ready to use to access the vCenter server, you need to open this URL. We will simply copy and paste in Internet Explorer. You can close it. Here is the first look of vCenter server. Now you have two options. You can access it through HTML client or Flex client. Here you need to provide the SSO credentials. And we are on the first page of the vCenter server. Here you can see that we have a lot of options and we will check these options in coming topics. Thank you. That's all from this video. In next video, we are going to cover how we can use vSpay client to access vCenter server. Thank you. Stay tuned.